Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to the D's and the Blues. What, Amy Community Series match? Nab Cup, Wizard Cup. Um, yeah, just a pre-season hit out for the boys against the Baggers. I've gotten here early. I'm going to the pub with George, George McCleary. So we'll get a feed before the game. I'm gonna to venture to the pub very, very shortly, but pumped, pumped to be back with the, uh, the game day vlogs and pumped to see how the boys go in the hit out. I guess everyone is probably saying, hashtag no injuries, fingers crossed, toes crossed. Uh, but yeah, it'll be good to see the boys in the flesh. I haven't seen them in the flesh since the GWS game. And I reckon I vlogged with George that game as well. So that's quite funny. Anyway, I'm absolutely starving after the trip up. So I'm heading to the pub. Let's get a feed. And then yeah, let's head into Marvel and watch the D's. All right, we are on our way to Marvel. It is myself and George McCleary. How are you, George? Good, good. Uh, going to Marvel. I don't venture here that often as a D supporter. So it's good to get this feels like an interstate trip for the boys. Well, especially this area. It feels uh, incredibly different, but uh, perfect days fans. But... Incredibly urban. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it is hot and sweaty under the roof. It is, it is so hot and sweaty. The game's about to kick off. We're not playing for sheep stations, but it would be pretty handy to get up. What's your tip? I'm going to say the Blues by 15. I reckon we're going to get done for something. I reckon the four guy looks pretty standard. Men looks alright. It'll be a high scoring game, guaranteed. Alright, I love Marvel. Ben Brown. Yes. yes! Ben Brown's kicked the first of the game. I felt like early days watching last week, it looked like they leveled up, and you don't want to go the early crow because this is practice match football, but the way they move it is so, so good. It's very impressive, and it's a great start here. The Blues are playing pretty well. Yeah, no, they're playing well. They're controlling the footy a lot more, so... Zachy Fisher yeah, is... 50 meter. Oh, they've had three 50s and two goals from it. Zach Fisher has been sent straight to the line. Good time, and we're getting rolled by the Blues. Yeah, I tipped him. I tipped him before the game. Sure did. It's unexpected, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's hot. <laughs> Premiership hungover. Hangover is setting well, it. We spoke about this uh, halfway through the first quarter, so no, nah, we're not those type of fans, but cheer me up. I really want to win this. Like I said this to George before the game, I'm like, I know this is a pracky match against the Blues at Marvel, but I really want to win this. And it got a little bit frustrating that term. Yeah, we'll be quiet in our seats, so <laughs> hopefully we're a bit loud this quarter. The boys are kicking down this end, this term, so hopefully we get to see some snags, but the Blues are playing some oh, good footy. one of the great battles, Oscar McDonald and Tom McDonald. <laughs> One out in the goal. Early in the second, and the Blues midfield is taking the piss here a little bit. Paddy Cripps just slotted one from 50. So, um, yeah, the Blues mids are on top of the minute. Halfway through the second, and uh, the Blues are dominating. They're dominating in the midfield, they're dominating down forward. Defensively, they're on top, and they're up by about 36 points at the minute. Yeah, no, it's, it's not looking good. I'm, I'm really <laughs> bewildered at the moment. Hang on. No. We can't get a score to save our life. Oh, come on. Yeah. Half time here at Marvel. I'm here with Terry from Law Broad. You'd be up and about. That was a good half by the Blues. Just uh, keeping a lid on it as best I can. But Corey Dern and Matt Old is the new small forward brigade of the Blues, mate. It's it's the pressure. It's it's the tackling. It's the foot skills. It's the way the ball is just picking around. And a bit of a midfield masterclass. It was, it was. But to be fair, the D's haven't got out of first gear, so I don't want to, I don't want to say anything too funny now and then at the end of the game we've lost. But it looks good. Yeah, the, boys are, the boys are on. What are you looking to see in this second half? No injuries. I want to see uh, a little bit more of Lockie O'Brien on that wing. And I want to see a little bit more of your, our man Oscar McDonald. This is a Carlton Football Club procession. Oh, I've got nothing to say. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this isn't good. Look, 
I'll say, I'll say it again, we are missing like half our back line, but oh, still, this is nothing There's just the seeds of doubt that creep in when you perform like this. Are we fit enough? Are we good enough? Right on the siren, Paddy Cripps is having a shot. He got a free kick and another 50. I reckon we've given away six or seven 50 metres tonight. And at least three or four of them have resulted in goals. So Paddy Cripps looking to add another one. Three quarter time at the uh, Community Amy series. I don't know if we're undisciplined or what the go is, but we've given away eight fifties, and I reckon they've kicked four goals from them. We're actually giving away eight. Yeah, eight eight fifties. So oh, like six of them resulted into goals. Look at the small yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> the Blues have been good though. We showed a bit of fight in that third term, a little bit of a comeback, and the Blues held strong with a, a couple of late ones. So um, they're playing a good brand. I, I know we don't want to get too excited. But the, uh, the Blues faithful, they're, they're playing a pretty good round of footy, so hopefully that stacks up for the remainder of the year. But, yeah, 26 points down at three-quarter time. A little fight back would be handy, but just no injuries, and let's just get through to round one. Fritter's got a cheeky free kick. He's going to line up. He's got to thread the eye of the needle with this one. He can sometimes slot these goals from the acute angle. Gun Fritter. That goal, folks. That is a beautiful set shot technique. Straight through the middle. Oh, Sparrow snaps one from the goal square. He's reduced it to 10, which is quite comical because we've just slowly chipped away in the lead. I reckon it got to 40 points at one stage. We've been sitting at this end for about the whole game. How is this 10 points? We've been seeing a Carlton procession here and... It's been a Carlton yeah. clinic. I was saying flaggers a little earlier. Flag baggers. But, um... Yeah, we've chipped away at the lead. It's back to 10. I sort of want to pinch this. <laughs> I want to win it as well. Like you <laughs> Apparently Fritter's kicked five, so he's played a pretty good game for us. The Blues have been good throughout the midfield, so to see their midfield tested in these last five, six minutes will be really exciting. Two minutes left, and Tom McDonald's having a shot to reduce it to four points. Oh. Oh, this will be a fun minute in a bit. What a game. The, the last two clearances have been uh, the 6-6-6 rule and they've had the free kick. So if they don't get the free kick, hopefully we can get it inside 50 and try and shake this one up. Sam Wiedemann, clinical player. Leoman's mark, 30 out and will kick on the siren. And the Blues are home by about 10 points. Pretty good contest all around. A little bit of a fight back by the Ds. The Blues were too good all day. Um, yeah, a lot to take out of it from both sides, except I think, I think the Blues will be alright this year. That is it for the first game day vlog back at the footy. It feels good. It feels good to be back at the footy. Uh, the result was a little bit frustrating. I really wanted to win that towards the end. Well, even at the start, I was sort of talking to George on the way in and I was saying, I know this isn't for sheep stations, but I want to get the dub. Unfortunately, we were not good enough to get the job done. Uh, it was pretty disappointing showing, to be honest. We looked a little bit lackluster. I don't want to go into, you know, two glass half empty especially because it's a pre-season match. But the fitness was a little bit worrying. So hopefully, if I flag it now, I can look back on this in 12 months and go, there was nothing to worry, worry about. But initially, first sort of real hit out, the fitness looked a little bit lacking. I'm about to hop in the car and head home though. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog there. I really appreciate all of the support. I really appreciate everyone getting around the content. And I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers, guys.